Hey, so in this video, it's just a quick overview of the NAND CMS system. So this is what it kind of looks like. Up in the top left, you've got an avatar area. Left side, you've got a navigation area. And the center is just your content area. Um, you can post any kind of content that you want. Uh, it's running on Tumblr, so it's really easy, simple to post content. You can post images, and then it's just really easy to zoom into the original size of the image, and then get back to the blog. Um, you can post Vimeo, embed Vimeo, embed YouTube. You can upload your videos straight to Tumblr. You can embed from SoundCloud, or you can upload sound to Tumblr. Um, all different kinds of any kind of content that you want can be uploaded and shared really simply and quickly and easily through Tumblr and then it just appears in this nice minimal really minimal um, design really user friendly um, looks good any kind of size any kind of format um, any kind of device um, it's just really easy for people to see what's going on and get around. Um, and the interesting thing is that it's not like a normal blog in that the latest post is shown first. What we have is you can feature content um, and have it stuck to the top. So this post here, we can say that we want this this to be the first thing that people see when they come to the website. And then if they go on it, you know, it's always stuck to the top, so it's always the first thing that people see. seeing. So you can control what, what people see in there. And then over on here we have a box which can be controlled with really simple HTML, really basic um, things to put text and links so that people can navigate around your content. Um, you can put external links to external sites. And then what we can do is any time that we're uploading content to the the to the main area we can tag it so say you're uploading your photos and you want um, people to be able to get to all the photo content in the navigation bar what we can do is every time we upload a photo we can tag it I'll show you that on the inside as a photograph and then we can put a link to all the photo all the posts that have been tagged photograph so that just uh, people can get to all your photograph content just by clicking on a link on the side really helps you control and manage and help people get to whatever kind of collections projects that you want all in one while still having a kind of main area where everything just goes um, you can set up like contact pages information pages any kind of static page can be set up you can have a nice feature of Tumblr. You can have people just po ask you questions really simply, not have to email you. They can just ask straight in Tumblr, and then that goes into your your message box. And you can either answer it publicly or privately, so it gets posted onto your Tumblr. You can stick social widgets like Facebook and t uh, Twitter buttons in there. You can stick as much content as you want in there it'll just expand uh, along to fit as much stuff as you want in there um, so that's kind of the front end going into the back end all you need is a free tumblr account you just put your email a password in and you know you sign up to tumblr then to get this theme appearing on your website you just go to your blog customize edit HTML and then whatever the default is in there you just select it or delete it you grab the NAND CMS code off here just select copy paste save and then you're done it's, then you'll have this blank template ready to fill out however you want then just the great thing about Tumblr is just so easy to post things. You can post text, photo, quotes, links, little dialogue, th posts. Quite an interesting thing. This is what what 
dialogue post looks like. Um, audio, video, chat, you know, links, upload or links to videos. It's really easy and simple. You've got the internal messaging system. And like Facebook and Twitter, you can follow people. And people can follow you. You can like their posts. You can reblog their posts. Um, you can ask other people questions, send other people messages. You know, it's like Twitter. You've got um, a main feed area where you can see all the people that you're following's content and just interact with that content. Um, you can also. A good thing is you can search. Uh, you can search Tumblr really easy. So anyone who's posting things and tagging them, like your what you're interested in, it's a really good way to find people who are interested in your similar kind of things. You know, you can just search Tumblr, then follow, reblog, kind of thing. And also, if you're tagging your posts, people can follow. Like people can search and find your th your stuff really easy. And like we were saying, you can organize your content by tagging it, and then putting links to all the tagged specific tagged posts over in the left hand side. Also, you can set like we said the featured top post. That's just done by setting the tag. Really easy and simple to do. A uh, lot uh, set. Your domain name, you can use custom domain names if you buy like a .com domain name. It's really easy to set that up. I'll do a more in-depth thing about that. Allow replies, let people ask you questions, let people submit to you. Um, you can queue your content, which is a really good thing. Like You can say you don't want to be posting every day, but you want stuff appearing on your blog and in... Um, to your followers, you can just upload it all once and then queue it and it'll just stagger the posts really easy You can share to Twitter, Facebook, you can update it by email RSS feeds, set language time zone, all these kind of really useful things um, Yeah, like Tumblr is a really good Good way of managing and posting content and now with this theme specifically made for artists, just a really basic, minimal, um, kind of invisible theme that's just content focused, um, and then it's just really user friendly for people wanting to navigate your content. Um, just think it's a really good, useful thing for artists who want um, just a really functional, simple website for free. Um, definitely check this out and if you want to be among the first people to try this out then just sign up to the email list um, it will eventually be posted into Tumblr's um, theme garden where you can just install it at one click of a button but for now we're just doing a limited release just to test it out so if you want to get on the limited release sign up and you can get this code and use it in your tumblr and um, see what you can do with it okay so in the next video I'm going to be doing more in depth how to uh, looking at the specifics of setting it all up and posting stuff so that's been the, just a brief overview video I'll see you in the next video